She was an icon in the fashion industry, a woman who wore a man's hat and competed in a man's world, creating her own Fortune 500 company. The Liz Claiborne brand emphasized ensemble sportswear for working women, and it was an instant hit. She changed the way American women dress forever. What was so important about Liz is first she was a designer and made beautiful clothes, but right up there with that was she believed that women should be comfortable and feel good as they went about their work. Liz Claiborne was born in Belgium in 1929 and moved to New York in the 1940s to pursue a career in the fashion industry. She worked for years as a relatively unknown dress designer, then launched her own label in the mid-70s. The outfits she designed were serious but stylish. They were also affordable. She believed in color, she believed in fit, she believed in comfort. She didn't design for the runway. It wasn't about the little stick-thin 18-year-old models. It was about real women across America. Her company went public in 1981, and according to its website, just four years later, it was the first company founded by a woman that was listed in the Fortune 500. I think she built a legacy. It's an American brand. Classic, yet there's some funky stuff if you put it together right, and it's great, uh, great look. It's timeless. Claiborne died Tuesday at a New York hospital after a long bout with cancer. A leading fashion designer says she was tough but with soft knuckles. Liz Claiborne was 78. Jackie Bashera, The Associated Press.